Hi friends, welcome back to SAP Administration Learning Platform. In the today's video, we are going to talk about the tables and the types of the table in the HANA database. As the database administrator, we must know the basic functions of the database. The other users, like the application developers, they focus on the application logics and they never bother about where the data is stored and what is done in order to guarantee transactional consistency. As we all know that HANA is an in-memory database and it stores the data in memory in table and organized in column and partitions. In the database there are multiple database objects such as schemas, tables, views and the procedures. But in the today's video, we are going to talk about, specially about the tables. So now let's talk about the tables. What is a table? So table is the fundamental data structure. What does it mean? The database is a collection of the data that is stored in the organized fashion in the table containing the row and the columns using the software package known as the database management system which we also call as the DBMS. The data structure is a way of organizing and storing the data. One is the central object. The table is a central object in the HANA database because HANA is the in-memory database and it stores the data in memory in the tables and organized in the column and the partition. For that reason, the table plays the important role in the HANA database. Tables in general consist of at least one column and every column need to have a distinct name in this table. Across the tables, the column name can be used multiple times with the different data types, definition and with the meanings. Though the tables made up of the set of the column, these columns could not exist in the database on their own. They always need the compound of the tables. This way, we can understand the importance of the tables. Now let's talk about the types of the table in the HANA database. We can segregate the table with the different way. The first one is the physical table and the logical table. Second one is the row based table and the column based table as well as the document store for the JSON artifacts. Similarly there are tables on the base of use cases like the temporary table, history table and the dummy table. So let's talk about the first types of the table that is the physical and the logical table. The physical table is the data structure to keep and retrieve the data and the logical table defined as a data interface to it. Information about the current runtime data and the internal implementation data structure often called as the physical table and can be found in the catalog view like the m underscore cs underscore table and m underscore cs underscore the column and there are other views as well that we can use to get the information about the tables so let's see views so we just need to type simple command that is a select star from m underscore cs and we can see here the information about the column store table the cs stand for the column store table and if we want to see the information about the row based table then simply we just need to select the table that is m underscore rs so that way we can get the information about the row based tables physical tables are 
no more or less real to the physical world than the conceptual or the logical tables. Now let's focus on the second types of the table and that is specifically for the HANA database that is the row store and the column store table. SAP HANA like the most other database systems offer multiple different types of the table. The data may be stored by row or by column. The row store table record data row by row over many pages. For the row based table we have few limitations like the first limitation is that the row based table cannot be partitioned as the column store table. The second one is SAP HANA offer no compression for the row store table. It means that we cannot compress the row store tables. The third one is that the column in the row store table cannot be accessed independently or in the parallelly as we access the column store table column and can access independently or it can use parallelly. The fourth one is the row store table cannot be displaced from the memory. It means that the row store table always will be in the memory. We cannot unload it from the memory. We can see here that the load status of the row store table is showing as the loaded always. It means that the row store table must be loaded into the memory always. At the same time if we see the column store table then we can see here the load status is a full, partial and no. It means that there is a no such a condition under which we always need to load the table, column store table into the HANA database memory. If the row store table fail to load into the memory then the system cannot be start. So when we restart the system the first tables those load into the memory those are the row store tables and in case if any table failed to load into the memory then that case it will lead to the issue for the starting of the system. Considering all these limitations now in the latest version SAP provided the default option of creating the table as column based table. As we see in the HANA studio and if I try to create the table under any schema it provides us the option to select the types of the table. Here we can see the types and the default it's coming as the column store table. When to use the row store table? There are few conditions that time we can use the row store table. The first one is that the application need to process only one single record at a time. At that time we can use the row store table. Next one is the application typically need to access the complete record. Third one is the the column contain mainly distinct value so the compression rate would be a low so that time we can use the row store table and the fourth one is the neither aggregation nor fast searching are required that time we can go for the row store table and the last one is the table has a small number of a row for example the configuration table in that cases we can go for the row store table so this is overall all about the row store table in the next video we will discuss about the column store table and the other tables as per the use cases those are the temporary table history table and the debit tables I hope if you like this video please subscribe to the channel if you not yet subscribed and share with your friend click on the bell icon to get the notification of the new video so take care bye bye